G'day everybody, welcome back to Valheim, where we are busy uh, looking after the house and also preparing ourselves for the days to come in the Mistlands. We have been hunting quite a few of those serpents, having some decent success with that actually, so uh, we've got plenty of serpent meat to work with. Uh, so we should be able to make heaps and heaps more of these serpent stews, which are going to really fuel our uh, expeditions into the Mistlands. Uh, speaking of stews, I should actually hang on to a little bit of food uh, just to, you know, consume stuff while we're here at home. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe in this episode we'll continue with the silo roof. It is coming along quite well and I think uh, with just a little bit more we should eventually get to where we want to be. I'm just spotting another boar back there. Okay, they're just normal boars. Okay. Look, uh, I, I probably won't really mind having normal boars as well. It's not like we need like heaps and heaps of boar meat. Uh, so, you know, a lesser amount of boar meat and leather scraps is fine. Um, so yeah, maybe one of these days we'll get some new boars. I do want to reconstruct this entire pen, and I'm thinking of actually making a smaller pen, maybe even a circular one, because we've got a little bit of a, you know, bastardized elliptical sort of shape going on here. So yeah, it is pretty horrendous looking. I would like to get rid of it and actually uh, put in a new pen for the boars. I don't know about it being so close to the walls now. Uh, considering the attack that happened last time, uh, having them pretty close to the walls is a little bit detrimental, I would have to say. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe we even need to expand the walls up a little bit more, but I don't really want to do that. Could we perhaps move the boars down there? Uh, and maybe we'll keep portals up here instead. I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but for now uh, Let's not worry about that. Let's just worry about what we're going to do with the roof over here We do need all of our ingredients actually, so let's just quickly grab all of that and We should get going with completing this roof, okay, so Maybe we'll start on this side, actually. So that'll be clipping out a little bit, so probably not keen on that. I'm sort of wanting to... I don't know. I want to I want to have that piece. Oh, actually maybe what I need to do is do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes a lot of sense, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> there is a little bit of clipping. But I don't think that's really avoidable. Oh god. Do not mean to jump straight in. rid of that piece for a second and let me get rid of that as well. I just want to see what happens if we just connect that there. Mm. Yeah I'm not entirely sure about that. Let's let's retry this. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of a gap, isn't there? Which I'm not a fan of. Uh, this is probably in the wrong place. Mm. 
Hmm. I get rid of the, that as well and maybe I'll try doing something like that initially. There's no gaps there. And then... That. How do we feel about that? I think that looks decent. Not bad. I wonder if we can do something better on this side. So, for example, can we use one of these corner pieces instead? Maybe the answer is no. Yeah. Anyway. Let me just grab some of our materials down here. No, I think I think the answer was to put these pieces in. Like so. Now it might get a little bit trickier up here, so I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do things, but... Um, one thing at a time, let's just complete this layer. Again, got some gaps that I don't like. Alright, that looks good. I think that's what we want. So maybe it might not look so good on the inside. I will check that in a second. Hmm. Yeah, okay, that's not really aligning, is it? Something weird going on. Probably not aligning either. So we sort of want that, I think. Okay, let's take a look at it. I think that's okay. I feel like I also need to do a bit of a a session to gather up some mushrooms and maybe some more uh, resins as well. We seem to be running quite low on resins. Uh, let's see here. So if I do that and that. Are we happy with that? That's... 
That's floaty, actually. That that's not not really good. Um. I have a feeling I might need to address the center a little bit later. Uh, maybe I might want to work my way to the center. So... So, maybe we'll get that in there. Yeah, these gaps. Bit of a problem. I guess maybe what I should be doing is just snap to one of these corners, like so. That, that works, that works. Does it? <laughs> um... with that. Maybe we'll get rid of that and retry on this side. Let's take a look at it from inside though. I mean, that looks clean. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. Now, continuation of what we've got going on here. I'm sort of thinking of whether or not I want to just replace it completely with like a new style of build, or if I just replace it with these pieces. Yeah, I don't know, that, that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? I think we're going to have to redo some of the stuff here with uh, just a, a different design. And I'm okay with that. getting a little bit dark so I might want to just come back to all of this work so let's just work on some other stuff here I'm sort of thinking maybe I should 
just get to work on smelting. Maybe smelting some silver or something like that. Okay, uh, we should be gathering up some wisps sometime soon. Uh, and I can't remember when we last put our barley uh, in, or our next batch of barley, but... I think we might have to wait a little bit more. I do want to grind some more barley though if we can. I uh, I don't know how we're going on that front. Definitely need to move the windmill though. Um, and I think a lot of people have commented how uh, the windmill is moving a little bit slower now that it's up here. And I guess maybe it's also a little bit too close to the, the wall or the fortifications here. So um, I definitely need to do something about that. Uh, so my thought process is perhaps maybe when we get around to making the dock, uh, which is definitely happening, uh, that's where we'll move the the windmill to. That way we sort of have a, a spot for it where it gets wind from the ocean, because it is pretty windy out there. Uh, and from here I'm going to just have a sleep. I reckon. Um, gonna check on the hot tub. Hot tub's still running, which is nice, which means we should get pretty decent rested buff. Throw all of that into the fire. Uh, and yeah, we should continue working on this roof. Don't really want to delay any further. Do want to try and get it in? Um, hmm. How? How do we make this work? Maybe we can work from the center and see how that pans out. That kind of piece there. Interesting. Alright, so that clips through a tiny little bit. I wonder if it would be better if we try to to connect like that first, and then go downwards. Maybe, maybe. Thank you. 
We have to try and find a way to address those gaps. I'm just trying to remember as well, guys, uh, whether or not we would get, like, one-star boars spawning if we kept killing the boars in this area. That could be the case. Uh, perhaps maybe we're not seeing any more of them because uh, they haven't respawned recently. These are just the same boars that we've been seeing over and over. Um, so yeah, maybe if I do kill some of the boars, not a bad thing. Try and see if we can spawn some new versions of those boars. Um, hmm. Okay. Decent. We're gonna have to figure something out for... for these corners here. Without, obviously, horrendous clipping on the other side. Um... That's decent. I need to undo some of that. There we go.
Now I've got to figure out what we did before, though. Um... Doesn't look right. Maybe. Got a few gaps though. I'm not a fan. Um. Okay, that's looking good. I think maybe this piece is looking a little bit weird. Let's take that down. Okay, maybe that was a problem all, all along. Oh, let's take a look at it from the top actually. Maybe.
a little bit of clipping there. Which we don't seem to have on this side. Let me just double check. Yeah, okay. Possibly... Maybe... That should be in place instead, or... No. That's a little hovery though, isn't it? Mm, so that's a problem. some food in us. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna accept that. That's fine. Uh, and now, the problem of the final part of the roof. And I think we took these pieces down before because we had some real difficulty trying to to curve the next piece here. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. So now be able to just get this piece back in. He would hope. Right. Uh, so we do have a couple of gaps though. Which I need to address somehow. Maybe there's a solution if we take a look at this thing from inside. Mm. Just notice that there's still a couple of other gaps as well, so we're gonna have to address those. Uh, let me just take a look at what we've just done there. I have a feeling that's sort of going to be jutting out somewhere though. Yeah, not the best look. Get rid of that. And maybe, perhaps, Does it make sense to do that? Might be all right. problem is actually replicating it. 
for this side. Is that actually covering it though? Doesn't look like it. And that's sort of clipping inside. That might be interesting. I mean, I don't mind the look of that. We still have a couple of gaps though to address. So um, yeah, let's have a sleep again and let's see if we can work on it tomorrow morning. Um, I might want to check on our barley farm though. Maybe I should go ahead and do that right now. Haven't been growing flax in a very long time as well. I wonder if I'm gonna need even more flax sometime soon. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So things are done. Uh, I'm gonna deal with that a little bit later. Just gonna see if I can find myself some cloud berries. We'll just feed the locks before we start working on the farm. Okay, the lox is actually eating, I think, at the moment. That's good to know. Uh, and our workbench is still there as well, which is good. Hasn't been destroyed or anything like that. I'd like to find a few more berries though, we didn't really find a lot.
Okay. This is gonna have to do, I think. Oh god. <laughs> uh dear me. Obviously don't want to lure it to the tar pit though. It's broken aggro already. It's good. Forty-four percent. Actually, that's... Oh god. Wrong button. <laughs> oh. I will take all of that, though. Come on, man. I've been feeding you all these berries. Make a run for it. Another big batch of berries there. Um, I'm just gonna slowly work our way away. Uh, it is a little bit far from our home here though, isn't it? Uh, I think it's still going to be taming quite a bit while we're here dealing with the farm, so... Ideally though, I would like the locks to move in a little bit closer. problem is they do hit really really hard against all of our stone walls as well so it's not like I can keep the locks nearby all right good times let's get our new batch in
Okay, good times. Quite a lot of barley to spare. Let's head home. And I'm gonna stash the barley away and... Yeah, a little bit more building here. Let's try and use the sunlight while we have it. I'm hoping that this will be the last little bit of building that we have to do here. Um, yeah, trying to plug away these gaps. That's the, the real concern that I have. Um, these are sort of jutting inwards. I'm okay with that, I think. Um, Okay, um... I wonder if that will work. And even if we can achieve the, the same thing on this side. really addressing the the gap is it or is it actually that might be okay what on earth is going on there Okay. All right. Maybe. Maybe this is the answer. Uh, let's take a look at that again from the inside. Yeah, it doesn't look so bad. Uh, things look pretty symmetrical. We do have the little gaps, though. I can't remember if we addressed those gaps uh, in the previous build. Here. Um... Let's 
not right. I don't know. I don't know about these ones, guys. They they look a little bit hovery to me. Um, I'm just going to try and see if I can play around with the way it snaps. Uh, and that could be a different solution. There seems to be still a little bit of a gap there. Uh, plus, for some reason, we managed to... ...to have that jut out a little bit more. How? How did we do that? Very, very tiny gap there. Mm, let me take a look at this once more. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just experimenting a whole bunch here. Can't seem to achieve the same thing on that side.
All right. Um, that actually looks a little bit better than what we had going on before, which was um, these corners were definitely a little bit more hovery. Uh, these are quite obviously still sitting on top of what appears to be a lower roof, but I, I think I will accept that. And, um, you know, from a decorative pattern perspective, I think this looks quite good. So, yeah, I think the silo is done. We do have a tiny little bit of clipping over here. Don't think we have a solution for that, so I'm going to leave that as is. But yeah, there we go. Uh, aside from rebuilding this silo, uh, the only thing that really needs rebuilding is that over there, the, uh, the pig pen, and... Yeah, I feel like this is something that I'm going to be procrastinating about for a little bit, guys. Um, I'm going to sit on it. Still a little bit depressed that we uh, we managed to get our two-star boar killed. Uh, sorry, two-star boars killed. Um, and yeah, <laughs> uh, I I feel like my uh, my mental state needs to still recover. I need to recover from the loss. Uh, so we'll come back to that. Uh, and I think considering we are done with that part of the house, we might, uh, gear up for another bit of an adventure in the Mistlands. So that's the plan anyway. Let me just grab some barley and I do want to make some fire resistance meads because I feel like uh, fighting the the yoles they do some form of fire damage I feel uh, so that could be potentially useful in those situations uh, time to also put more of our stuff away uh, and then we'll grab all of the food that we need. We'll have a sleep, obviously, because it is, I assume it's night? Or is it still daytime? Just a very big storm here, so I can't really tell. Throw all of that there, and we've got some scraps here. Uh, sconces. I would like to put some sconces on the outside. Uh, maybe one over here and one on the outside. Uh, sorry, the other side, rather. Uh, and... Yeah, let, let's see. Uh, we would need simply some copper for that, right? Can't remember how much. Could be one each. Let me just take a look. No, two copper each. Alright. Right, and we need a few other bits and pieces, though. Wood and resin. Okay. Let's get these in. be a better idea to put it on this side. That kind of looks cool. Uh, actually, I, I, I think I prefer this side, to be honest. Light things up a little bit more. Yeah, looking good. Right. Uh, let's stash away our stuff. Pick up some food. And then we'll be off. Uh, actually, I've been forgetting about gathering the wisps, guys.
Okay, good. Uh, we don't seem to have a lot of wisps, though, do we? And if I sleep... Am I going to get more wisps, or what's the deal? I think I'll grab bone mass for this. Who knows, we might have a bit of a tough fight ahead of us. We're still on 21 minutes on some of our foods though, not ideal. I guess this could be where the Buke Perries might come in handy. Yeah, recently I was a bit surprised uh, when we were playing around with our trophies and I definitely saw that Ichthyr started speaking, or the Ichthyr trophy started speaking, so uh, apparently, and uh, you know, a lot of you guys sort of commented on that, and uh, apparently all of the boss uh, trophies do speak, I think, or am I wrong in th also thinking maybe uh, not just the boss trophies, maybe some other trophies also speak to you, um, but yeah, uh, there's apparently quite a bit of dialogue that you can have uh, from those things. If we're really feeling like refighting a whole bunch of bosses, which, uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drop that there, I think. Let's have a sleep. Oh yes, and we need our foods. We'll, we'll get that in a second. I'm sort of waiting to see if we can pick out some more wisps, but I think we have a decent amount, and what I really want to try and do is something that I mentioned perhaps maybe in the previous episode, the fact that uh, we may be able to lure some enemies to the position of those divergers and uh, see if we can perhaps get the divergers to sort of go a little bit crazy and perhaps maybe destroy everything in the area or something like that. Something along those lines, that's that's what a lot of the commentary uh, seemed to make me believe, is that they were a little bit indiscriminate. Uh, we need some blood puddings, actually, guys. Um, let's just check on what we need for that. Blood bags, barley flour, thistle. Might need to go out and find some more thistle as well. So yeah, we'll see how we go uh, in the next episode in terms of our exploration, and we might mix in uh, a bit of a session to get more materials that we have to sort of forage from. Um, so thistle, mushrooms, uh, I can't remember, I, I did say something else, I think. Um, anyway. Uh, let's split that, and let's drop Thistle back. This can go as well. Uh, I think we're ready-ish. Oh, um, I really need to remember to check on these fountains before I actually do anything else in the morning. I think I missed my opportunity there to get a few more. But anyway, uh, what should we do? Lox pie? Maybe serpent stews. Um, yeah, we'll have a serpent stew and yeah, we'll, we'll make our way back out to the Mistlands. And I think we'll call it an episode here, guys, because uh, it has been a while, uh, and I'm gonna take a break, and when we come back, uh, we'll try to lure those enemies to the verger and see what happens then. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the series so far. It's been a long one, 
Uh, but I hope you appreciate all the effort that I'm putting into all these videos. And yes, I do stumble uh, around here and there, but uh, I appreciate your patience uh, and your guidance in a lot of the comments as well. Stay true, guys. I'll see you in the next one.